Telomeres are the ends of chromosomes, and chromosomes are the little tiny things in every cell in our body which carries the genetic information, and they're made of long DNA molecules. And every end of the DNA uh, has to have a little protective cap on it, and that's what the telomere is. And it really does protect the chromosome, and therefore it protects the genetic material. If you don't have a proper protective cap, because the cap can wear down throughout life, and then suddenly it stops working, then the cells don't work properly and start sending the wrong signals to each other and to other cells around the body. We're very interested in how the wearing down of telomeres is related to people's health, partly because we want to know, you know, is it just a biomarker, is it just you know an indicator and it's really other things going on, or how much is it really causing declines in health, which then are seen as increases in, say, the chronic diseases of aging. But we have a pretty good idea now that it is causing at least some of the risks that people will have the chronic diseases of aging. Um, you know, the, the big three, the diabetes, cancers, cardiovascular, and of course, you know, we think more and more about dementias as people get older and older. And the telomere shortness that you can see is predicting a higher chance of somebody dying in the future. It's not a tiny effect. Our cells have a certain amount of an enzyme, and we call it telomerase, and it builds back telomeres. Unfortunately, it's not super good at it in humans. It's okay. It gets most of us through, you know, good long lives. But sometimes it doesn't work as well. And there can be many other processes that are wearing the telomeres down. Telomerase can build them back up with the help of lots of other factors in the cells. So what we'd like to know is how can we help that building up process? Well, we've been really interested in what roles nutrition and uh, exercise and uh, what, you know, what we eat, what role does that have in maintaining telomeres? Because we do know that maintaining telomeres is playing a role in what our health is going to be. And that's the thing that really matters for a lot of people is, is what's their health going to be like? And there's a great name, it's called health span, which pretty much is the term that says, you know, your health span is the time in your life that you stay pretty healthy and you don't have a real frailty or disease or some real disability that you know really affects your life. So we all want our health span to be as close as possible to our lifespan. So we're down to the basics. Exercise, good nutrition, trying to do stress reduction, recognizing we can't avoid all chronic severe stress. It's very exciting when you find people of like mind who have similar kinds of um, goals and uh, you know ambitions, uh, and and when the two mesh, it's 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 wonderful because you know different different strengths are brought to the problem. Uh, you know we bring our strengths as our research um, expertise and uh, knowing a lot about you know over the years how telomeres work and more and more through a lot of interactions with uh, studies how that's impacting on human health and wellness and and Shackley has a goal of you know human health and well-being and and so that is, is a very uh, resonant kind of role that Shackley is playing as well and so having that ability there so we can respond and make it happen right away. That's something that the Shackley support is going to make possible. And that's, you know, that's huge for us. When you bring two very different kinds of strengths together, you know, good things happen. And so I'm very excited that, that this is going to be something where, you know, we really will make some true advances. Ever notice how some people just seem to age slower than others? Are they just genetically lucky? Or can something be done to help the body's natural ability to slow aging at the cellular level? Chronological age measures your years, but cellular age can be accelerated by many factors. Stress, UV radiation, environmental toxins, and poor diet among them. Healthy cells have the natural ability to prevent and repair damage. But as we age, there's a normal biological decline in cell function. So, 
Over a lifetime, this daily damage can build up as more and more cells lose the ability to repair themselves. In fact, scientists now believe that there may be a tipping point around age 50 when sufficient cellular damage has occurred that it may contribute to many normal age-related health issues. What can we do to feel younger longer? One of the most important things you can do to help keep your cells vital and strong is to give your cells the nutrients they need to maintain their resilience, to energize, defend, and protect themselves. To slow cellular aging naturally, Shackley scientists developed Vivix, a patented blend of highly potent, clinically tested phytonutrients that help cells repair and protect against daily damage. For years, longevity research has focused on the antioxidant benefits of resveratrol, a polyphenol found in red wine. Shackley scientists took this research to the next level, searching for other, more potent sources of polyphenols that could deliver even greater antioxidant power. And we found what we were looking for in the muscadine grape. What makes Vivix unique is that Shackley scientists developed a patented extraction process that isolates and preserves a broad spectrum of that grape's most potent polyphenols. Combined with resveratrol, this patented polyphenol blend is 10 times more powerful than resveratrol alone in slowing a key mechanism of cellular aging. Vivix, just one teaspoon a day, delivers a broad spectrum of antioxidant power. And every bottle of Vivix is backed with Shackley's 100% guarantee. Feel younger, longer with Vivix from Shackley.